everyone, this is going to be a mini book haul. I bought two books. I actually copied Gina. I saw Gina's book haul recently and she purchased these two books and I went out and got them because I was very interested in them. One is Sarah's Key and I actually bought this book and never read it. I don't know what happened to the book. So I repurchased it and when she, when Gina talked about the book, I became really interested in the book. And basically, if, if I can remember correctly, I think Gina said it's about uh, two siblings, uh, a sister who is about 10 years old and uh, what happens? So she locks her brother in a bedroom cupboard in a hiding place and um, she's, I think, taken away and her brother is left there and we don't know what happens to the brother and what happens like 60 years later to Sarah and um, anyways somebody in on the back of this uh, compared this book to Sophie's Choice and those of you who know the movie you know the, they made a movie based on William Starron's Starron I think that's how you pronounce his last name um, book he wrote Sophie's Choice and I made a movie out of it and uh, they're both excellent I recommend um, those books and it's bought you know when Nazi uh, the Nazi invasion and uh, so it's going to be very heavy with a lot of realism of course because it happened in history and actually I have a friend who um, she's Jewish and she didn't really want to talk about it she just said she did finish reading it, uh, but she didn't want to talk about it anymore. So uh, I guess it's pretty realistic. and um, So I'll just leave it at that. So I'm really excited to read this. And I think and I talked about doing like a book review together. But anybody you know who's interested in doing this, definitely you can uh, join us. And then another book she mentioned is The Ghost Orchid. Yeah, and it's about Carol Goodman, and I was immediately drawn to this book because I actually read several books by um, Carol Goodman, and this is she writes mostly uh, mystery books and Drowning Tree, and The Lake of Dead Languages, and that those are really excellent. Um, so, uh, like my reading glasses, uh, believe it or not, I had Lasix like seven, eight, I don't know how many years ago, long time ago. So my vision my distance vision long distance vision is excellent but now uh, I have trouble reading up close and I guess that's you know predictable or you know um, can't avoid it when you get older is what happens and another book that I went to half price bookstore was uh, for I guess I can pull these up sorry I have no makeup on um, I want to I wanted to pick up uh, we need to talk about Kevin and it's written by Lionel Shriver and they made a movie out of it. I don't think the movie got a really great review but it's about uh, a couple in their 40s and they're thinking about having a child and I think the woman is not as enthusiastic about having an, having her first child or having a child but somehow she gets talked into it and then after she has a child, Kevin, um, she doesn't really get attached to him and then later on there's uh, the boy Kevin grows up um, like I don't know how old he is but I think he might be still uh, a child and he commits series of murders I don't know if I should be reading books like that at my age um, but it reminded me of another book actually that I read uh, it's called uh, The Fifth Child and it's about a couple who have their fifth child but um, the, the child doesn't do any, doesn't go on a killing spree or anything like that. But I was always interested in reading this author, Doris Lessing. She has won the Pulitzer Award for, I forgot which book. I know I've read it, but I can't find the book. But this, let's see, um, this says, this is a hair-raising tale as full of twists and shocks as any page turner could desire. Um, but I really liked her style of writing. Okay, uh, there's a book that I want to mention that I was not happy. I had bought it uh, paperback or half price, but I bought the hardback. Edgar Saltel. It's written by David Walbers. 
Wolperski, uh, yeah, I just butchered that name. Oprah Book Club book. Uh, she raved about it. She, you know, it was about a man and his dogs, and it just sounded so good because I love dogs. I love pets. I mean, I have dogs and cats, and I really trusted uh, Oprah's, you know, choices, book choices. But I, it's it's not a bad book. But I would not have paid the hardcover price for it. Um, I mean, because you know she recommended it, and it had just come off the press, and this was what was available. And I paid twenty five ninety five at Borders. Ouch! Um, it did drag some parts of it, or maybe a third of the book. It kind of dragged, and I just thought that it was overhyped. That's just my opinion. If you totally loved every bit of it, um, I mean, that's, you know, everybody has their own opinion, and did, I totally respect that. So, um, yeah, all is good. Okay, thank you, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.